to the Tuesday, September 3rd meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Liz Pritchett. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Eric Gilbertson. Seth Mitchell. Benjamin Cheney. We are an advisory committee to the Development Review Board. We will review the applications on the agenda. As a matter of fact, do I and pass them on to the Development Review Board? And do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. So moved. Or second. second. Whatever. Whatever. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. And I don't see anybody has any other comments. We'll move forward to the first application for 12 Hillside Avenue. Tom Taylor and Vicki Koskowski. Do you want to come up to the table and describe your Thank you. project? And I apologize. I somehow I, uh, do not have a copy of the materials with me. Sorry about that. That's OK. Can you move Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. So I'm Tom Taylor. And I live at 12 Hillside with my wife, Victoria Kiskowski. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, so we uh, are embarking on the process of repainting our house. And uh, we I was here earlier, um, in or in the spring, actually, um, to submit a, an application for a yellow color scheme, um, which, you, um, which was approved. And then we had kind of a uh, drastic change of heart <laughs> about, <laughs> um, before, without even really starting, we, we kind of had a complete change of heart about uh, what, what colors we wanted to paint the house. So I'm uh, back, um, hoping to get our revised blue and cream color scheme approved. We had, uh, we'd gone with a yellow and cream <coughs> the first time. And are these, I mean, I, are these colors representative, or should I go down and get the, uh, you turned in the actual paint chips, right? Yeah, I submitted Should I go the, get those? Um, that might be good. That would help. Yeah, if it's not an inconvenience, because I would say that reproduction is is a little different okay. to my eyes. Okay. Right the blue looks more like an aqua on the reproduction. I would say, yeah. yeah, to me that it's not, the, the chip is not that, um, a little less bright, I would say. Okay. The darker you go on the base color, the easier it is to maintain the cleanliness. Right. Not that it'll be cleaner, but it looks cleaner. The lighter color, if you're near a street, particularly during the summer, the, the road dust really those right light colors unless you're going to hose them off regularly. Right, and yeah, that was actually um, one of the factors, or, or something I learned um, about the original color scheme we went with. I didn't realize um, it was actually the, the base color was, at least in Obershawn's system, it was one that they actually just purely in terms of um, you know wear from the sunlight. It was it was one they actually didn't recommend. As, or just, I guess, one that would tend more to, to, to change noticeably over time. So, I, yeah, I, I didn't know that, that apparently blues are one of the colors that are less apt to change. That's the actual. Yeah. So the blue is for the body of the building? That's right. And the, and yeah. The, and then yeah. the white is the uh, window and door trim, or, or what is it? Exactly, yeah. Window, door trim, and eaves. Oh, I see up there. So yeah, I don't know if that's. I actually haven't looked at the chip in, in just a little, a little while. So I kind of forgot exactly how close it is to the. It's not as far off as some copies. Did you ever get a small sample from them and literally paint it on the house on the sunny side and take a look? Uh, yeah, we did. We actually did. We did. Um, we tried. We tried that with a f just painted a very small area with a few blues and um, yeah there were there were a couple other ones that we tried that um, it was amazing like looked didn't look that loud from the chip but even <laughs> even just getting them on like several square feet it was kind of like whoa and this one to us at least even after painting a section of the house um, 
I mean, we did. We, we kind of ended up when we changed our minds. We said we, we wanted something with a little pop, but you know, definitely not like an electric mm -hmm. or something that would look really aqua. To um, so, yeah. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Also, do you have any areas of the house that have any particular uh, issues with peeling or flaking? Um, there is a, this side, although you know it's definitely starting to get a bit. You can see from um, the sorry, we don't have a photo. The side of the house that's um, sorry, I'm getting my my cardinal directions a little mixed up. This is kind of the south side of the house, mm -hmm. and. The, um, this side of the house, um, which gets very little light, actually has the worst. I think it, it's the side. You know, we're right up, kind of right up against the slope there, mm -hmm. and this this side gets very little sunlight, and I think it just stays really damp or something. Mm -hmm. um, and that's this is the only side where um, we have a couple sections with sort of bad, um, where the peeling is kind of a s significant. Not huge sections, but um, the other areas that frequently you'll find that it'll, it'll chip or peel are outside of kitchens and bathrooms because of uh, the moisture inside trying to get out during the winter when it's cold and dry. Oh, interesting. And that'll cause it. And the reason, the only reason I ask you is a way to minimize that. And there's some special primers that you can put in those areas. And oh, nice. or Sherwood Williams, all the paint stores carry them. Uh, Albuchans has one, one that's called Mad. It's actually a funny name called Mad Dog. And oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Primer, and it's it really it'll make your paint job last a long time if you do that in the trouble areas. Nice. Thank you. Actually, because I had a former coworker who um, specifically recommended Mad Dog, but he didn't. He just said it's fantastic, but he didn't specifically say why it's. Yeah, it's, it's in so those like, problem areas. Any places you have weather issues, whether it's up on your soffits and fascia board, you know, near where the water comes off the roof or on the shady sides of the house, it's really worth using that. Yeah, okay. Because, I, yeah, I, I had balked a little bit. I saw that it was, you know, like significantly more expensive than the regular Benjamin Moore primer. But for those, I would, for those areas, like, I would definitely go for it if it would... Yeah, because you, I mean, you can see um, just in, in terms of the challenge of staging certain parts of our house, like, yes, I, I really, <laughs> we don't want to have to do it. You want to make it last. Yeah. Yes. So the fascia, soffit, rake boards, underside of soffit, that's all the yellow. Right? Yeah. And then when it, when it comes to the window sashes, are you doing the sashes yellow or just keeping those white? Um, so, uh, sorry, the, the sash refers specifically like to the bu like, the body of the window itself, right? Or, or you have a double over on the window. Yeah. Uh, what you do on one of the sides? Of the we were, I think we were just those. Yeah, sorry, this doesn't sh um, show it very well. We have. Um, they're pretty much all like newer Marvin windows that have, they're like that kind of, um, it's kind of a gray brown, like darker gray ground color. The window, it's bronze. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, so yeah, we, I don't know, we liked. It's hard to see the other screen. Yeah, sorry. We, we you know, we like that. So we were just going to leave the sashes. Um, okay. Are they like aluminum or are they a metal? Or a, yeah, they are, it's so a, the, the, paint them, really. yeah. The insides are are um, oh, really? paintable, mm -hmm. but the, the outside is definitely oh, so a, it's like a, a, it's a, a cladding, yeah, yeah. 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 A metal or a fiberglass cladding, <laughs> one or the other. Yeah. Um, so, you don't need to so how about the, the door? <laughs> oh the yes. Window and this door. How does that all shake out? Um, but yeah, those. You're right. Um, I'm sorry, we hadn't actually. I think for the like this back, I think we were just going to do this, um, but yeah, that was actually one thing that the kitchen door. Um, sorry, when we changed our minds, we hadn't we hadn't really thought about. I mean, I mean, I know often the door is a third color, 
So yeah, I'm sorry, we, we actually haven't picked a third color for the door. You could either do a darker version of your body color so it contrasts with the trim color because all the trim around the windows and doors, all the casings would probably be your trim color. Right. The sun. So you could use either a dark, dark color in that same shade or you could do a dark bronze to match your existing windows. Oh yeah, that could be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That, um, yeah, because we, we actually, we really do like the, the, the color of the cladding on the on the windows. So, but yeah, the, also the idea of a, a blue that's, di you mean one that's different enough that you kind of, a, a there's contrast. That it just but, shows the contrast, yeah. but in the same color family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Is that right if I write on this? Yeah, that's yours. Oh, thank you. Add notes about the mad dog and everything else on So we just said you have the option that you, there are, you can give options on the criteria sheet. And an option, your option, is to paint the doors a darker version of the proposed body color, which is a Santa Clara, or a dark bronze color compatible with the color of the apartment with the sashes. Any other suggestions or options? OK. Any questions, comments, suggestions regarding the proposed colors? It is an option to be in there to leave the doors white. Okay. White or the morning sun. What's up with this one down? Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, I should have mentioned. Yeah, so um, that uh, that came up last time, and we're definitely, um, so we're planning to replace that clab, like feather in the, the clabbers there. Uh -huh. But that was, um, when that window was replaced, um, it, it, like, they ended up just, <laughs> I don't know why. They, there was something, they something was done under there, I guess, and um, that was just how, like, I, I don't know why the uh, the clavers didn't get replaced there. Looks like it might mop off, so I still got the sheeting, so it wasn't the door. Yeah. Oh, it what? Thank you. I forgot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we've been in the house for about seven years. There, there, so there used to be a deck. Oh, yeah. Our deck's up. And yeah, sorry. There was a deck over the um, going out from. That was a door. Thank you. I totally not before uh, before we lived there. It was when uh, when the door became a window. It's kind of interesting. 
interested in its funkiness. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a uh, you know it's 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 on the register, but it's it's non-contributing because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been uh, been messed with, I think, a little too much. Or I don't know. Yeah, we love it, but it's uh, it's pretty funky. <laughs> I just made a com comment in the section that that frame section will be filled in. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. I meant to. Um, yeah, I think that was a came up last time, and I that's definitely our plan because you know aesthetically we don't love that. <laughs> I'll run through the criteria. Number one: preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district where involves an historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. The paint job is acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no change in utilities. Do you have any? Lights is that a light above the triple door? Yes, that is a functioning light. And is there one beside the single door on the left? We don't have a light there. Should we? Is that well, what we can oh. do is yeah, what <laughs> we just we would need to have the specifications and all that stuff back in the office. That's all. Could we give them an option to put either an overhead light? matching the other one or a side light yep. a wall mounted side light yeah we would just need to have the cut sheets for it okay to uh, yeah no you can do that because it's single family home so never mind So we should, because, uh, sorry, you're saying because that's a, a requirement, or? Yes. No, it's, it's oh. an option. You're, it's an option. Oh, it's just oh, something nice. that they can improve here so that you, you oh, don't have awesome. to come, because it's something on the outside, you don't have to come back to the design review to then add the light as long oh. as you do it with lifespan and permit. Thank you, that's great. So we could. And it makes sense if you're going to have be painting and dealing with right. the clapboard, adding new clapboard in other spaces anyway. Right. You may as well cut the hole right. that light in if you want to light over that. That's the kitchen door, right? Um, this is actually a weird little, um, like, separate side room that's, um, at one time, maybe it was part of the kitchen, but, um, like, now it's kind of its own weird little mud room. But, um, but it makes sense to have a light yeah, door. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, so thank you. So you're saying you're able to kind of yeah. approve that as part of yeah. Just a, normally what you would do is you could either put something overhead or you could put, like, a little side light here. A little sconce. A little, either a sconce or... Like a little, you know, a black color or something that, you know, looks nice beside the door. And usually you put it, if the, if the knob on the door is here and the door opens that way, you put the light here, because then the light switch would be, as you open the door, the light switch would be immediately on your right. Right. Nice. And yeah. You can also use, they make them now nice side lanterns with a motion detector. So oh, you basically nice. leave it on so when you come home at night and you walk towards the door, the light automatically comes on. Nice. And the wiring, like doing it on top or on the side, is kind of the same deal. I mean, well, if you do the light on this side, on the outside, the switch is on the inside somewhere down in here. And you, depending on if you have basement underneath, it's easy to bring a wire up inside the bay to your switch and then up inside the bay to your outside light. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just say optional light beside left side single door. In a 
again, depending on the vintage of the house, you can find something <coughs> really easily that's, compa you know, that's compatible with that. The one that's over with, mm -hmm. with the age of the house. Oh, right, right. And lastly, recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Probably not applicable at this location. With the options and the fill in of, for the clapboards, all in favor of the application, raise your hand. And I'll get you to sign this one. This copy on the lower left above my name. Thank you. You have a pen? Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much to all of you. Thank you. Good luck with your project. You can Thanks take, a lot. I appreciate you it. Can that and you can take oh, the pen. yeah. Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. And yeah, thank and you for all, for all the good ideas as well. Thank you, Tom. Okay, for the next application for 60 Main Street. Welcome back. Uh, you can grab that thank chair. You. And Is this one okay? Yeah. Just a reminder to make sure that whoever's talking has the microphone pointed at them as best you can. Sure. <coughs> and again, if, now that we have enough people, I will have to recuse myself from the vote as I am participating in creating the sign. I just want to say that. Okay. What's that? What else? Well, we've been discussing having me get all the letters cut out and screwed to the building. So it feels like that should be publicly said before. Okay. <laughs> and introduce oh, yourselves. Oh, we know. We're very pleased. And introduce yourselves again. Hi, I'm Talia Stonerov. I'm an architect here in town and architect for Rabble Rouser. I'm Jacqueline Rieke, and I'm the one of the co-owners of the business, Rabble Rouser. Thank you all. I'm Bill Kaplan, and i um, the landlord. And describe your sure. new application. So um, we're happy to be back with you all. Uh, the sign has been re envisioned to really capture what Rabble Rouser Nutty Stuffs um, want the, the building to say about their, their space. So it's really about um, making it, it's about clarity, about making it as clear as possible for the people walking down the street to know exactly what's going on inside. It's a really multifunctional space, so it was important to them to make that as clear as possible so everyone would understand what was everything that was happening, and there's so many things that are exciting inside. So we are proposing to do um, individual letters, simple aluminum individual letters that have a bit of a standoff, so you get a shadow behind them. There's quite a bit of contrast with the back, so it's easy to read. There, each letter is two feet high, and we did um, precedent research within the town to make sure that that was within what was normal for the letters. We found that um, many letters in town, you have those numbers. Uh, 31 was what we were seeing in several applications. So it's actually quite a bit smaller, even though it's, um, you know, it has a boldness to it than many of the signs that are existing in town. And then on the side that you can see, this came up at the last meeting that you all brought up and recommended, and we, we really liked the idea, so we moved forward with that of recognizing that, in fact, that alley is street frontage, and so that should also be able to have that signage. So we have just the simple logo on that side, um, and then the idea of, of street signs, in a way, going down on the left there saying Flores Chocolate Spirits and Espresso, again, just highlighting what's happening in that space. Talk just a little bit about uh, 
how this this is laid out, how people get to the floors, the chocolate, the spirits, and express. It's all one big space. Yeah, it is all one big space, um, and we would love you to come visit anytime. <laughs> it's open. Please come in. Um, you come in the main space, and to your right are couches and a bar to sit at and work in the windows. There's a lot of activity and excitement in the window. Uh, we're trying to just enliven that whole street, you know, that part of it which was empty for so long. Um, straight in front of you is a beautiful display case of all of the chocolate confections, and please jump in anytime if I'm not. And then there's a um, beautiful bar made of uh, local white oak and then also a local uh, stone as another part of it um, where you can sit and have coffee or you can have a drink or you can have a melted chocolate drink or baguettes so that's another area and then the other part of the street frontage this storefront here that has a beautiful florist in it and she um, is a it's a separate business, but it's all sort of being run as um, under one register. One register, and then in the back, there's another area for standing and having drinks, and there's sitting area, and um, I think that covers it. Behind, then we have a, a wall that is the only thing that bisects the space at the back, and behind that is where all the chocolate making is happening. So there's a whole factory happening back there, which is really exciting. And then, of course, the bathrooms at the back right, one that's ADA. I, I apologize. I wasn't at the last meeting when I came. I couldn't come. But uh, uh, I know there's some large signs in town, but this strikes me as being really oversized. And we've lost uh, the sign ban isn't defined with all the black paint. So that there's a distinctive sign ban on the building, and I think some kind of a border would help. It is um, the sign ban is the existing sign ban that was there, and we just painted it to have something be more cohesive, the whole building, and it does stand off. So there's a difference in um, in, in elevation there. So you see a shadow and material. So this, you're right. This really, I think the print. Um, it washes it out a bit and you don't see it, but you do see a very distinct sign band uh, that you can you can see if you just look across the street too. I apologize if that's not as clear in the drawing. This font looks a little different. I mean, it's a little, um, it's not as crisp, but I, I, I like this. I was just curious, is this the one you're using, the, the, the little lettering? It's a little sort of fuzzy around the edges. You see what I'm saying? Whereas this is sharper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sharpened it for okay. the sides. Oh, so you go, this is the one. Okay. <coughs> a little bit of that will be um, dependent, of course, on what you're cutting, the material you're cutting. So having mm. it be a little smoother is, yeah, but it's a classic old typewriter font. The, uh, uh, and I, I'm interested in the relationship between the rabble rouser and the rest of the businesses. I care just for you know, talking about the sign, I don't care what the businesses are, but the sort of clarity is as I look at this, I'm kind of confused about what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that I think that one of the things that happened with this space is that it's a very large space yeah. for this town. And one of the things that we um, worked at in in trying to to understand how to best use the space is kind of how to how to do a lot in the space uh, that would actually last. And so um, when you go in the space, it's very simple design. It's very wide open and simple. And so it is important to have these the list of what's happening in there. And the cohesion is you know you have gifts, you have chocolate, you have flowers, you have. Uh, you know, drinks and things, um, and and it's it's one kind of community gathering space where you can both socialize, you can pick up a gift, you can have your morning coffee. The idea is that you create places where it's simple, not confusing, relaxing, and uh, can stay for a while. It 
In terms of the size, we did do a calculation to make sure that it we did do a calculation to make sure that it was within what was allowable per the code, um, the zoning code, and it is allowable would be 48 feet and three inches, and we are at 39 feet four. So uh, that was certainly taken into account, and I appreciate that that comment. And many other shops in town use their sign band to describe what's inside as opposed to the business thing. Mm -hmm. Are there any? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Are there others that do that? I, said, I thought are, are you there, said many do, and I'd agree no, with you. I said no. Oh. I said, are there any oh, other sure. businesses in town that the sign band describes what's inside as opposed to putting their business name on the sign. The sign band, not just in the windows. I, I understand, yeah. Um, so windows, when you look at Walgreens, half the sign is dedicated to pharmacy. Mm -hmm. When you look at uh, Obashan, a large portion says paint. Hardware. Uh, hardware, you know. The, um, so I do, I think that's pretty common. Um, but, you know, whether the name integrates their use or it also shows ancillary uses in that sign band. We did walk around and, and look at a lot of that. And many sign bands actually aren't even used. I think that the expense of kind of using a sign band, you know, many have just put decals. I was surprised actually when I looked. Uh, there are Green a lot Penny of has nothing. there are a lot of just blank sign bands with kind of decals in the windows. So this is kind of taking it back to using the sign band as a side band. For How are you going to be promoting it as a browser? Well, it does have, um, in this window here, it's got a... Promotion otherwise. So I'm oh. thinking about people coming down the street and recognizing that, okay, I found what I'm looking for. Right. Uh, because, I mean, the signs in downtown, you can't drive in downtown and look at the signs. <laughs> so, so they're mostly street levels and the observation and uh, sort of I think that uh, you know, the, the letter is just being so big and, uh, and it's such a it, it's a big sign band it's not yeah. a, 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 a small one uh, but I just wonder if somebody walking down the street on either side of the street is going to be able to figure out that they have arrived at wherever they are. Mm. I think the street experience, you will see Rabble Rouser at eye level. Right. And I think the drive-by experience, you will be able to see what's going on in the building. And, and the other thing to be noted is that each one of these um, letters is smaller than any of the letters that were in the one more time sign. Those were 31 and 28 inch letters. They were too large and not approved by everybody who was here. I don't, so I don't know was, the history, I'm just of, going by facts. There was a lot of, uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> the idea for the sign band is you don't have to fill it. The idea is to put lettering on there that's classy looking and it's contrast and it's readable from the furthest distance, which is across the street on the opposite street, the opposite sidewalk. Well, to and that, a, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, no, go ahead. Well, just to your point about, um, you said classy, we've been really focused on quality. So all along the way, there are obviously cheaper things that one could do. There are much cheaper materials that you could use, but throughout this entire process, both Bill and Jacqueline, have been really committed to using both local artisans and fabricators and local materials. And There's no question of the quality. Yeah. It's just a design. Right. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to bring this up. Because um, normally for administrative permits, for sign permits, Audra usually does a calculation on this. The front sign on the sign man, 
The total width is 39 feet 4 inches. Yes, of all the okay. letters together. So, yep. Yeah. So you did. I hate to make you come back. I almost think this is bigger than you're allowed anyway. You did your 80% facade calculation, mm -hmm. but there's a whole separate square footage calculation that's in the figure 3-16. I almost think you have too many square feet, because if you're talking, this is... I can tell you what the square feet are, but what, um, well, I mean, it would take a minute. Anyway, great, but I, I mean, I think you came out at four, uh, that's not quite right. We don't have the square footage marked on here, but I yeah. could figure that out for you. Well, I'm figuring it out right now. I'm just double checking that you're actually complying with this figure 3-16 because you don't have those numbers in here. Because that's a separate calculation from the 80%. Right. Cool. Here, you're looking at each florist as a separate sign, chocolate. Uh, the one, yeah, well, and, I mean. And, uh, without, without the definition of the sign, the sign band of any, uh, really looking at the square footage is I mean are you I'm trying to understand what's happening here or is it that you don't like how it looks is that is that what's happening well there's 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 criteria for the signs I right? understand that sure so I mean I think one of the ones you're talking about is the harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district at this yes. point yes incompatibility right incompatibility of <coughs> proposed well that would be the exterior materials right so yeah I think those are the big ones. Have you seen the cityscape books? Sure. It's, I think, I don't know. I think what we're trying to do is to fully understand the project and why you're doing what you're doing. Uh, it's, I, I've got it, I mean, it looks huge to me. Uh, I wasn't here for the meeting uh, on painting in black, but not a big fan of that. So, and that's not entering into what is today. That's a done deal. Uh, and I'm just looking at readability, walking the streets of Montpelier, trying to figure out what the business is, and making it sort of. It's you mean what the, like what the name of the business what is? What the name is and what you can get there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I that's what we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah that, well, I think that's exactly what what's trying to be. It's like, this is what you can get in here because it's it's got a lot of different uses. Even though Rabble Rouser is everything except the florist, that's all within the scope of what they're doing. And how high are the letters? Twenty-four. Yeah, your, your square footage is fine. I was just double checking it. Oh, oh awesome! Was, when I first did my calculation, I was just like, oh, wait, I think this is way off, but it's not. Okay. Early. <laughs> 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 Normally, Audra will have a little note in here or something where she's done the calculation and it wasn't in here, so I was a little worried. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm feeling it's a little confusing, too. Um, uh, I guess just because of what I'm used to, that, you know, feeling that maybe the Regal flower designs would be here and Rabble Rouser would be over here. That was approved before. Uh -huh. And that, that um, if you look to the previous application, um, it just, that, you know, I think... Didn't convey your... Yeah, like Rabble your... Rouser really felt like they wanted to... Not speaking for you, but no, you know, fine. really yeah, wanted awful. to say this is what is happening yeah. here. You can get chocolate, you can buy flowers, you can, you know, have beautiful drinks with friends, and <laughs> you can have incredible coffee and croissants and baguettes and yeah. all those things. So it's just, it's, well, it's about that clarity. Yeah, and I guess to me it seems big too. I like the font, just to me it seems awfully bold, but. Here. That's the message you're trying to convey. I <laughs> Make no mistake about what you can get here. Yeah. Can I just ask a question? Sure. So you have there's there is just the one door entryway, right? Yes. It's clear that there's only one door. Mm -hmm. 
so I I kind of see how if you had two different names up in the top, it might get confusing because people might start. Yeah, how do you for get two into the doors? <laughs> right. Yeah. And when you walk in, it's there's a rabble rouser sign, and then there's a really cool florist sign. So it's clear that both those things are you know, right there. Well, there's several businesses in town that have a front doorway, and you can go in, and it's either split or open for one business on the left, one on the right. Uh, obviously, for a smaller storefront, a lot of spaces had to be divided. And I almost like the directional that the previous proposal had with the Regal on the left and the Rabble Rouser on the right, and then with the on the windows, putting what each one, like on the florist side, you could do whatever your description was here, flower design, gifts, and here on your glass you could do chocolate, spirits, espresso, you know, whatever else that you had going on there. The sign band's designed to describe a business that's inside. It's not, it's not supposed to be a dictionary of everything that you're doing inside. And to me, it's overkill. And I look at it in terms of compatibility, in terms of the criteria. I look at it in terms of compatibility uh, with other properties in the district. Meredith, do we, do we have a defi definition of sign ban? Well, one, just to pull up Google Maps. Um, if anybody wanted to look at it, sign band. I think I one thing that's hard, hard for us is that it's one, one long sign band, but they're like two, you know, two separate little storefronts, and it's, um, it's just different than what we're used to in our mindset. I think. Uh, so we do have a definition of sign band. It just means the flat horizontal area on a building facade, usually located immediately above the storefront and below the second story window sill where signs may be attached. It doesn't say <laughs> what kind of sign, it just says sign. It doesn't say like store names or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's another reason, it's not just about what's inside, um, that, and please correct me if I'm misspeaking, that, that they're choosing to have the name of the business be, um, Subordinate. It's that, it's that it, there's a humbleness about this business. This business is about the community down to every single way they run every piece of it. So it's it's co-op owned and it's, it, it, there's just this, um, it's not about saying, putting Rabble Rouser first. It's more about saying, here's this community space. Here's what you can do here. Come join us. And here's the name of our businesses, which is also important. But I think that's, is that my right? Is that part of it? That it's really about the community and saying, you know, please come in. But just Make because you put Florence Chocolate Spirits and Espresso doesn't, I don't read that into, into that. I, I think that, that uh, I, I don't know how to express this, but you know, you're obviously having community space. And, but I don't know how you can tell that from looking at the signs. Um, maybe Rabble Rouser is the name of the community space. I don't know. I think that, I think Rabble Rouser is a great name. <laughs> and I would think that if you'd have pride in that name, you'd want that the largest, because sooner or later, people are going to identify you not as the coffee shop or the chocolate shop where to have a chocolate shop. They're going to identify you as Rabble Rouser. Because I look at Rabble Rouser and I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I would wear that with pride. <laughs> That's really sweet. No further <laughs> explanation <Comments>. necessary. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember the calendar. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, you do a great nice. job. You have a great business. Yeah. And I, I just, I would 
love to see rabble rouser like you had proposed before. Like super big. How do you guys like the alley sign? I, I like your logo here. I think it's really sweet. Really very nice. Thank you. Yeah. See, I think people walking down the street are going to look with. I mean, if I'm walking down the street, an eye level description inside the glass, which you can put anywhere you want, change it anytime you want. Describe me if you add something, you can put another sign inside the glass so that people walking by can see that. I mean, storefronts that they, they do clothing, they put their mannequins, they put their samples out in the glass. So if you're not looking at it, what a description is inside, you see what's actually inside in the storefront. That's your window display. And if you had chocolate, spirits, espresso on the glasses you're walking by, I noticed that more than it would driving by and seeing that up on a, a sign band. I know you may, you probably, you obviously have a different opinion. Yeah. Do you, what about the alley? I, I think the alley's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I think, I think it's, it's subtle, it's right. readable. And again, your design, it's designed is to be readable for people walking by. Nobody's gonna, you may notice lettering on the side, but you're not going to necessarily read that as you're driving down the street. Okay. Do you intend to leave the lights where they are? That was the intention, to use the existing lights. We did um, want to put one, just a safety light over um, on that alley side. Um, we'll need a sheet on that. A that'll, have to be, on that. that'll have to be added. Yes, absolutely. Um, it is noted, but we didn't have a spec sheet yet. But happy to do that. The light on the side would be over the rabble <coughs> sign. That would make sense, I think. What do you think? I don't think it's worth trying to illuminate the one on the corner of the building up towards the street because there's a street light there that yeah. lights that up pretty well. That makes sense. I'm just wondering too if people see this <coughs> and think, well, is it a store where you can buy chocolate spirits and espresso? Um, but you also, you know, can sit in there and relax and there's this espresso bar and there's, you know, it's not just like a store. retail store. Yeah. Yeah, which is is not really obvious here. Mm. You're going to serve you say, big sweets and baguettes and stuff. I, th I think that should be on a window sign or somewhere by the door so people know that they can come in and sit down and eat. Uh, because otherwise you walk by there and... You know, on the glass you could have it, you know, yeah. in, uh, in the area of home glass in the area where the bar is, yeah. you could have espresso bar. Cheesecake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, whatever the, I mean, whatever your specialties are, you could put on the glass. And again, as you change that, you can change that. And I've been seeing stuff in press about maybe pop-ups of different types of food being served as well, something along those lines, or another, almost a cafe restaurant option in there, too. Is that wrong? I just did been different articles. We're working with cool run-ins, yeah. Jamaican food folks. Yeah. Um, so I mean, that's a whole other aspect be, uh, that would be totally different, right? Right. So that is so one how reason do you to describe, think about the windows. How do you describe what they do in your sign band? They don't get a place there. <laughs> Again, inside the glass, you can change that as things come and go. As you change, as your you know, as your business moves, as you ate, you know, as, as you are in there, and you know, people make suggestions of what you know what they really like, and you make you know, you tweak the business to suit the clientele. You can make all those changes inside the glass anytime you want. You can make lettering. Put it up there. 
So I'm going to just say this once and leave it back. I, I, don't, I don't mind this. I think it's a little bit oversized. I don't mind this. I think there's nothing that prevents you from doing it. Um, I, I think that it's, you do whatever you want. I mean, it's, there's no defined use of how, that, how that's purposed. I hear what you're saying, certainly, and, and if I if I were to, to do it, I would certainly go that direction as well. But you know, if this is what you like. My only comment would be to not make it as large and uh, call it back. And that they have to come back because they need to change their sign ban. They have to come back, right? Well, or could it be that? Uh, two feet or less was approved as long as it's the same. Oh, no, I just meant, like, oh. if you were trying to change, if suddenly you're like, oh, oh I, see, I, see, I see, I see, I'm sorry. All right, yes. you got to come back. Okay. I think, I think you're ready uh, you to know, do that. You know, I'll tell you, as someone who's looked at a lot of downtowns in my career and was very hesitant to invest in, in Montpelier, I think that when I found a group that was as committed and as bold and forward-thinking as, as this group, I trust their judgment, I trust their business sense, and they are definitely doing things differently. There's no question about it. Um, and, I, and I have chosen many times to just sit back and trust their judgment because they're doing something new. And if we apply old, we stay empty. If we try something new, we hopefully go forward with a really vibrant place. So I'd ask that you approve this. I think it's good for the town. I think it's good for everybody here. I think it's an exciting space. I do. Yeah. And I and I think also to focus just on the sign to do all the things of communicating what's happening in there is too much to ask of a sign. You know, I think that you go by, you see the space. They've focused on the outside walk, the sidewalk experience with plants, you know, uh, seating, other things like that. The, the, you, the glass is clean and repaired and fixed up, and you, the lighting inside makes it so that it's warm. It's all cool, uh, I mean, warm tones. You know, all the lights have been changed over so that it's a really warm, inviting place when you walk by. You don't even need to know what they're doing to feel like you want to go in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that to me is um, Nobody's really disputing important. the quality of the space. No, no, and I'm again, just, I'm, I'm talking we're, about we're the looking, sign, yep. but I think to ask the sign the to do it. the criteria that we're supposed to judge an application by. And again, we're, we're advisory. Yeah. I mean, whether we have approved it or not, you can still go forward to either an administrative <laughs> or... Yeah. I understand. But I, I mean, I, I understand <laughs> the, the, the conversation that's happening here. It's different. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's all. And I think that even if you do this, uh, along with Seth, I agree that if, if the lettering was smaller and they were separate, it would be equally as readable, maybe more readable, because everything's not just sort of fill the entire space. You don't have to fill the entire sign band with letters. Mm -hmm. Lettering, space, lettering, space, lettering gives it a different feeling than just filling it, the whole space with lettering. Mm -hmm. And there's some signs in town that a lettering is too large. And not all of them got approved by us. Mm -hmm. Again, we're advisory. Mm -hmm. So it passes along to either an administrative approval oh, or, uh, or another board, the de development review board. I haven't happened to walk by in the last few weeks, so. Um, can you see that they're seating from through the windows? Although a lot of our chairs are yet to arrive. <laughs> it's hard to have everything 100% in place when you open the door. Yeah. The outdoor seating is here. The outdoor seating is here. Just rained too much yesterday. <laughs> and the church pews. I will say that I do see some of the argument of both its size and the fact that it's all capital letters feels a little bit like it's shouting at you. 
Um, you don't like to be shouted at? <laughs> it's not my favorite, no. Uh, and then, so, and then with, like, having lowercase letters in the, in the sign and rabble rouser and whatnot. So there is sort of, I think that's when I look at it, what is coming through to me. There's two kinds of people at Montpelier. One are people that don't look at the signs because they don't they know where they're going, and so they don't look at the signs. Then there's the other people that probably the signs mean more to are the visitors from out of town that are uh, around. There's a lot of people at uh, Montpelier, believe it or not, has a population of 20,000 during the work week. Wow. Mm -hmm. More than doubles during the day, and uh, it's you know, a town of eight thousand. So, so, and there's a lot of people that that uh, you know are visiting in town, that come walk around and, and see things. So you have to be, I think, you have to be very clear. And I, I don't think this achieves. It's not part of our review criteria. I don't think that you can be strolling by there and figure out everything you can get. I also don't think you need letters that big and capitalized to convey what you're doing uh, to somebody that's across the street or even down at the intersection of uh, State and Maine, walking that way in front of the bookstore. Uh, it's, it's not like you're trying to grab somebody out on the Barry Montpelier Road with a sign. Uh, and where you're going trapped. really fast. Yep. I mean, if you want to go ahead with the application as you're proposed, I mean, we can go down through the criteria and we'll, I probably would ask for feedback from the committee on, a, on each of the criteria um, and then we can vote on the end to move it forward. So that's up to, that's up to the prison so. Well, I think if we can request it this way, it would be helpful to see, you know, where you stand. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I have to excuse myself and ask you guys to hold down the rest of the meeting. Is that okay? Okay, we have a team meeting at <coughs> 6.30, so um, I'm the facilitator of the meeting. Otherwise, I would just skip it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll read down through the criteria. Number 1A, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure. What is the, I'll just ask who finds the proposed sign applicable or acceptable for 1A? So, <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking too. I mean, I really appreciate what you said, Bill. And I, um, I think it's exciting to be bold and um, we don't want to be stuck necessarily in our hmm. sort of our own routines. Um, I'll go for it too. So, two yeses. I say no. And I'll say no as well. Again, just. Size, I mean, it's more compatible to do it in your original application, but with this one, with the size of the letters, I'd have to agree with Aaron. So we're. So do we get two, two yes, two, two now? <laughs> Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. Same. Harmony of exterior, I'm sorry, C, compatibility of proposed exterior materials. Can I ask a question? Sorry. Yes. Um, in terms of harmony of the design with existing in the area, so I have to assume that that's just based on what it's saying. Because, for instance, Down Home has a very similar painted painted signboard and then letters that are offset, different font, different, you know, what it's saying, but it's a, you know, it's a similar idea. 
and I think that's seen in multiple places of the painted signboard and then letters, if you're lucky, the letters are nice and offset in metal. Some mm -hmm. of them are just cheaper. Mm -hmm. So is it, I, ju I just want to clarify from my own understanding of the design review, is it not compatible because of what it's saying or because of the, the design? S size. So size, so if it was a little smaller, then that might be more compatible. And how big are the down-home letters? I think they're 18 inches. I made those. 18 inches. On a, on a what, a 21 I foot storefront. I, I, I think <coughs> yeah. part of the... the I, but that's a good point, no, no, scaling. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the size of the storefront, but I do feel like the letters were 18 inches. Yeah. That yeah. should all be in the permit file. The, uh, for me, this is such a... Uh, a big storefront. Uh, many, you know, designed originally to have several stores occupying it. Uh, that have doing it all in a in a monolith mm. uh, just emphasizes the size mm -hmm. and the extent yeah. of it. And that was a problem so with the with the occupants there before. That sign was just big. I think it'd be far better if it was broken up in some ways of the businesses were defined with some different kinds of lettering. I think that would uh, would help my perspective. It's a very it's a very uh, even with the font and the capitals, it's a very aggressive domineering sign. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, I'm I'm generally in favor of all kinds of innovation in signs and changes and things being done a little differently. But this is just so overwhelming on that side of the street that uh, I just don't think it fits. And there are ways to break it up uh, without, uh, uh, I think, and I, yeah, I'm not a designer, so. And again, we'll go down through the other one just comment per sort of Talia's question is I'm also doing the sign for one tailor, which is 24 inch aluminum letters that, that we approve that say Montpelier. And so, and it's sort of spread out and it's a, it's very similar. Different scale buildings, different location, all those things. Huge are building. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it's a different, how, whole how different big is the scale. Sign about? That is, it's 10 letters, so it's only, it's like 20 some odd feet to, yeah, this is, to say months. This, this is covers good. nearly 60 feet. Um, 60. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, but the size of the letter have to do with, I mean, there's very little foot traffic there. Yep. Some, but yep. mostly vehicular traffic. Yep. And you're also dealing with a transit center that has buses. Which sure. are sixty feet long. Sure. So I mean, it's a different it's a different scale yeah. than walking I, down the street. I think with it's a good at just teasing out like oh. what we're it makes it makes comparisons and yeah, it makes clarity sense of there what because has people been that the transportation yeah. center people are in their cars. I, I imagine there'll be more pedestrians down there when, they, when it all opens up. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, and it's also something that a stranger is likely to be looking. One C was compatibility of proposed exterior materials. I don't think there's any issue with materials. No. Compatibility proposed landscaping that was pre -approved, that was approved at mm -hmm. the last meeting, so that's not applicable in this application. Prevention of the use of inc incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. And again, E, incompatible designs, buildings. I would, uh, yes on that, or what's your read on that? Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. Again, my only issue is the design in terms of the size of the lettering crowded into the 
space heat, whether it's permittable or not. Again, I'm looking at design. Again, that everybody's opinion, yeah. that's how I interpret it versus the criteria. So you're good with it, you're fine. I'm not. You're not, I'm you're not. not. And I'm all right with it. Sorry, got another one at seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. we've got three more of these, and then we still have to do location, the sign criteria. <laughs> location on appearance okay. of all utilities. There's no change in the lighting for these signs, although there is an add. Yeah, you'll have to come back with the spec sheet. And sure. Because we, we don't other, have yeah, because yeah, we don't have any kind of idea of what that light's going to look like. Recognition of. Yes. But, recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas including gateway views of the city and state house that's fine mm -hmm. conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations Yes on that? What is your line? Yes, the placement is fine. I, one observation I'm just sitting here looking at it is that I, this is a design issue and I don't know how to fix it. But somehow with all that sign band, this looks crowded to me. <laughs> so again, that's a design issue. Yeah. It's a design issue, yeah. So it would be basically the same. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties. Same. Wait, doesn't Cool okay. Jewels have a? Those letters are pretty big. Oh, don't, don't don't go with that. Well, I'm just thinking of. <laughs> don't go but with I'm that. just I thinking about the, you know. It's the, not the, 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 all the committees. It's got less than that. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 negative, don't compare anything negative, to that negative one. Negative feedback from the entire community on that one. Hmm. <laughs> and I wasn't even in the meeting that approved it. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure that was did, years did, before did, I took the position. Even I know, don't bring that one up. <laughs> but it was just that about was neighbors. Very about subject. neighbors, right? It was right. just about neighbors. Yep. Yep. No, like, not that it's what we're going for. Yeah, but, this one, it's I'm not sure you want to be to compatible with a sign that got not just so much <laughs> negative <laughs> feedback. Number four, shall not obscure significant architectural details. It does not. Illumination, not applicable for internally. Lit plastic signs prohibited, not applicable. Bennets and banner, pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged, and that's acceptable. All in favor of the application. Can we, um, I'm sorry, go ahead. Could we? Pose a straw vote on 18 and chai if that's mm -hmm. acceptable and then can it then proceed to the actual vote yeah so a straw vote on if it was 18, 18 inches inch high letters. instead of 24 inches high and appropriately spaced out would that then obtain approval is that the right. question right i mean i'm just proposing straw vote yeah. i would lean towards that more than the 24. i would too yeah. Probably, yeah. So, do you want to request an option of that I, instead, or a? I don't or, think we have the ability to do anything yeah. now that um, Jacqueline's left. I mean, it, if, it's if not. It, if it's an option that could I be think taken we're or not taken, right? This. As in, yeah, not like, not definitive, like, but if it was a well, because then like you can come back and she can like sign to, off on it potentially. Would you like She's to table it or just come yeah. back? No, I we I think we, that, I think we need to discuss. I think it we need her. to do yeah. this and get through this meeting and then do it because I know that the um, it's it's a team that we're dealing with. It's not just Jacqueline, yeah. and I think that people, um, I think morale and everything of the <laughs> team operating without a sign. And hearing that they can't, that we went to a, another meeting without getting something resolved, um, I just I think that she was very clear when she left that she wants to propose this and okay, we'll see what so, see what comes so, out of the so meeting. 
but I, I, I clearly heard that 18 is more preferable. We'll, so we'll but, but, about that. it helps me as, as the person who would be telling Andre whether or not to sign off on a permit. Mm -hmm. If they all are saying, yes, 18 inches we can, we can do, that gives me a little something to you to go back and you can then talk to everybody and say, hey, would everybody be happy with 18 inches or do we still really want the 24? That gives me something to work with on deciding how to go forward. You don't. If they don't want 18 inches, they don't have to have 18 inches based on Thank this. That all. We can wait to issue the permit until you go back and talk to everybody else. And so it's just a what, note that would yeah, say. Yeah, this is a recommendation. Committee to us. will approve. Yeah, co committee, committee. Is there anything for us to do here? I mean, I, I, are you okay with them taking a vote on? We would oh, accept this at 18 do inches. You we want. I mean, we I, don't. You know, it's a two-two tie vote on 24 inches. As far as signage to the on the glass sign on the inside, that's right. completely whatever they up to you. Yeah. So uh, they can, you know, whatever. I don't know how much you've got up, but uh, you can do that without. And yeah. and that I think where the most important part of your signing is anyway. But that's I'm not an expert on that by a long shot. You can always have a couple of different votes on here. So you can vote for it as is, and then you can do a vote for it at 18 inches. Or do we table it? Hmm? Rather than table it, we can Rather than table two, it, they don't votes. want to table it. Yes, yeah, so you could do it. So, so yeah. based, on, based on the proposal, with the 24-inch letters and the sign band, all in favor. In favor of the so, so all in favor of this of, of the, of the whole as proposal proposed with this size with the 24 inch in the sign ban. Um, so you what's the is there another we're going to do two votes two votes we're going to do two votes so what's the, we're going to the only one that's the only one that's real for this group right now because we have no the only one that's real that was asked to be voted by the by the applicant was the 24. Right, if you guys if you guys want to do a 18, you could do that. You could do a 10. You could wait, do a wait, four, but Bill, nine. Bill, my, my point is, this is not binding on anything until it gets to me. Oh, I, this is advisory. them giving me I, I, an option. If they give me an option that's acceptable to them, I, you guys can take that option, come back to me, amend your permit, and we don't have to bring you back here. I see. I see. I'm trying to make this as I'm easy to, as possible. I to see you. this through. I see. So I'm trying if to make it so you don't have to come back. To so the it PRC. isn't that I see. So if they, if if 24 got approved and they wanted to do 18, they would have to come back and get approval for 18. Not if we do two No, no, votes. I know, if we didn't do the vote. Well, but here's the other thing. If you get a denied at 24 inches and they don't approve 18, even if you shrink it down, you still got to come back. Right, right. I understand. So I'm trying I'm trying to no, no, it's make helpful. it so you don't I've have to never, come back I know. Here. I've never right. been here and yeah. I feel a little bit, um, you know, uh, trying to represent someone who's not here. Yeah, right. is, yes, is right. I'm, I'm not saying that. I, that. I, uh, my preference for process would be to table that and have you guys look at an 18 inch design and you know, do a graphic on it and take into account some of the other comments that have been made if that's what you want to do that seems like the the sort of best way to get to something we can all agree on yeah, I just I mean, they said they that's don't good have procedural, the authority to table it. Yeah. As far as as far as speeding it up for the applicant, I think we could probably, you know, based on feedback, do two votes on a 24-inch letters in the sign ban and 18s. So we vote for one or the other. Is that what you're saying? No, you, no, can, you can vote, vote you can for, vote both. for both. You can vote oh, okay, for both. So you can approve okay. the both. Right. Okay, I get it. So the first vote will be for this application as proposed with the 24-inch letters and the sign ban. All in favor? Raise your hand. The 24 inch. As proposed. As proposed. If you so are okay with inches. it, as proposed. If you're okay with that. Yeah. Okay, so. Then I'm asking for a vote. Raise your hand if you're in favor, if you're so, okay with the 24-inch letters. Okay. But if I would prefer the 18, yeah. You can you, you can, can do, just, you can okay. vote for you can both. Vote yes, for both. It's not one or the other. Okay, you well, can I'll vote, vote for this one then. Twenty-four. Too, but, I mean, Are you really okay with the twenty-four? No, no, and no. So, the vote for the twenty-four inch. I'll just put it here. The twenty-four inch sign band letters. Excuse me. I'm not sure. 
remember, this is advisory. This is not the permit oh, yeah, campaign. Oh, I, I get it now. Okay. Get just, it. You, Thank you, you for that. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we usually, usually go with what the GRC says, but it doesn't always happen. And based on 18 inch. Can we say 18 or less in case they want to do lowercase? Sure. There. 18 inch or less. It gives you options. Sign ban letters. So you could do 18 caps smaller, similar to the rabble rouser, mm -hmm. or you could do caps. Mm -hmm. All in favor of 18 inch or less signed ban letters, raise your hand. No? No. Okay. Not without seeing it. Right. I'm not sure that's going to, it's going to reduce the sort of bang in your face some, but it's not, it's, it's not the only thing that's a problem. Did we approve the? Uh... Oh yes, that would be a good. Job. Yeah, and did we? What about approving the? Was anything? I have nothing to do with that, so I might. Yes. Yeah. Can I? What about the that? champion alley? The alley is approved in both cases. The I'm only difference being, the only difference being the size of the letters and the sign band. And if these become smaller, would that be okay? On this. Oh. The... This. If they become smaller than they are. Yeah. And so on the end? Yeah, yeah I, that list on that the end. That doesn't seem to be, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's not a design issue. That's a. I mean, that's, that's fine. Find the way it is. Yeah. Based, again, based on the no, scale. No, I understand, but we just had a vote that said 18 or smaller, so I, I just want to. Yeah. It's really a smart place to put a sign there on the end. So yeah. And yeah, those aren't that large. I mean, how large are those letters? Uh, it's in here. It's 10, 12 on inches. There. I think they're um, six inches high, and they vary. They're about average three feet, but they vary based. On no, I meant the height of the yeah, letters. Six. The letters are six yeah. inches. Six yes. inches. Okay. They're small. Yeah, that's fine. And again, that's very readable. And again, they're readable as much for contrast as they are for size. Right. I think those would be readable for cars going by because they don't aren't going very fast. <laughs> Thank you for explaining all that. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go inside. I haven't been inside yet. Oh, yes. Yeah. Terry, that's pretty wonderful. I love her chocolates. I have to try the croissant, dip it in chocolate. <laughs> so good. We should have brought croissant chocolate. <laughs> you should have and picked yourself up on your windows. <laughs> People know they're in there and you can eat. So again, the sign ban letters, the 24 inch, the vote was two yes, two no, the 18 inch, uh, three yes, one no. And then I signed down here and I, the applicant, one of, some, one of you needs to sign up here. Or my name. Uh, or one. Well, I mean, ultimately, you can also, I mean, one of you can sign or Jacqueline can sign tomorrow after. Well, I'm the, I'm the, the yeah, I was the official yeah. applicant, so I think it's, it's okay. Oh, uh, you can leave that pen there. Okay. Next meeting. Thank you all for the thoughtful. Thank you for your yeah. discussion. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for all Feel your free to work. come down tomorrow. You'll still let if me in for a couple of hours. Anything's confusing or Jacqueline needs to come in and talk. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. No, we wish your business all the success yes. in the world. Definitely. Yeah. I do too. And your building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know what a challenge it is. <laughs> yeah. It's been right. empty for so long. <laughs> Uh, so we've got about six minutes. Okay, we have the minutes from 819. Oh. Okay. Move for approved. Second. Second. All in favor of the minutes from August 19th. Raise your hand. Minutes are approved. Next meeting, 916. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? 
So moved. Second. 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 All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.